think I hope that the, uh, the judge understand all this problem and this legislation and I don't have a fair trial. For example, uh, when I went to court the first time, we don't even have access to informant. Even special advocate didn't question the, the informant. This is like, you know, just, just just one example. It's it's a big problem. I hope the the judge gonna the judge gonna take all this on uh, consideration. You know, it's it's it just like it goes on and on and on. It's very hard to uh, to defend myself. And I and I uh, always say I'm innocent. All this allegation against me. What happens after this? Is this or do we have any other avenues to take? I, I hope the 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 appeal court. Uh, gonna uh, you know give me a new trial or you know I don't know what's coming from uh, I wait until the decision gonna come I don't give want you to jump one steps ahead see what uh, the, the, the judge gonna decide can I uh, make three points here the reason why we're here today is on three points on the constitutionality aspect of the continued use of secret evidence on the fact that the evidence is filtered and the all original material was destroyed was destroyed and on the fact that the informant's credibility was never tested even in secret proceedings that's what we thought was going to happen when we were given special advocates that they were going to be cross-examined in secret proceedings but that's not the case the credibility of the informant uh, went over my husband's testimony in a court. I mean, my husband testified a sworn testimony and the credibility of the informant was never tested by anyone. And we need to get to the root of it and we need to know why these people are protected. We need to test that evidence. We don't have the original wiretaps, if those are wiretaps. We want to have every original material, but that's not possible because they have all been destroyed. Without that, we don't have a fair trial. And the only way I think we will get a fair trial is if we go back to the Supreme Court. We want to go back to the Supreme Court. Or the, 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 the judge is going to decide in our favor. Yes. We're not going to stop there. I hope the judge is going to recognize all these mistakes, all this problem, all the, you know, going to be uh, easy for me and easy for everybody to, uh, to give me a fair trial or to find the the lies and constitutional. That's the best we're looking for. The reality is, if this would have been a criminal case, this would have never stood in court. Never. You destroy one piece of evidence, you destroy the whole case. And it's been going on and on and on. How much abuse on the part of the government do we need to take? I mean, this case has no merit. I mean, we we need to get to the bottom of it. We need to get to the informants, to the evidence, so that it can be tested properly. We want all Canadians to see the truth. That's, we need all Canadians to know about this. We want them to be able to judge this as well. Well, you're hopeful this is the way to do it, or no? We have no way to do it through the courts. We have no way. And the, the um, what was I going to say, the result of it is... Um, so important because my husband's life is on the line. I mean, he faces deportation with allegation of terrorism back in a country where they they have battled that. So if he goes back with allegation of terrorism, they will put him in jail. It's recorded. They will torture him, and he could be killed. The outcome of this is extremely serious. So you said you want to go back to the Supreme Court. What do you want to accomplish at the Supreme Court? Well, unless we accomplish someone something here, which would be the ideal situation. We're, hope, we're always hopeful that something will rule in our favor. I mean, the ideal situation would be that we come out of this a winner uh, in a couple of days, I don't know, in a couple of weeks from now. That would be the ideal situation. That finally the process is being put into question once more. So you're still, you're still on the uh, bail conditions? Uh, yes, I'm still on bail conditions. Same have, restrictions? Uh, uh, one in GPS, I can't uh, leave the Ottawa area. That is uh, more than 200,000 bonds and cash money on my head. Uh, if I leave the Ottawa has to be pre-approved with the Canadian Border Service Agency. We have to take some of the supervisor with me, my wife or the people put money. I can't use the phone outside. Uh, I, I can't use the, the computer. Uh, I'm, not allow, I'm not allowed for a cellular phone or internet inside the house or outside. Uh, it, this is conditional. If, if this appeal is not overturned, if they uphold your certificate this week, what happens? I have a you know, hard time to, to uh, 
to convince myself that judges won't see uh, won't see the problem we have in legislation. I'm not gonna jump, you know, ahead. We're gonna do a rule it's constitutional or not, or the, uh, the, there is abuse in the in the process. I'll wait and uh, comment after that. I'm hoping for the best, but I'm gonna wait for the judgment first before I gonna. Uh, got to a conclusion what can happen. Well, you had a full courtroom today, though, so obviously lots of supporters. Oh, I'm thank you know th thank the support and I thank the people like still following the case and what the people coming to the court all what you want like justice. I don't think so. You know, maybe you're familiar with the criminal cases. When you go to the another court, they have everything on the table. It's like you have to defend yourself, you have the witness, you have the accuser to face the accuser. We don't have in these cases. So people just, you know, coming to, uh, you know, that's, that's I believe that's what Canadians believe and that's what the supporters believe and that's, I hope everybody have to uh, have a right to defend himself. Yeah, and I, I'm sorry, I just like to add that anybody who's critical of the process needs to put himself or herself in my husband's shoes and if it was them that was put in jail without charge without access to the evidence you're not giving the you're not given the evidence or the opportunity to uh, uh, challenge this anybody would do the same thing as us and fight for our lives that's what we're doing we're not only doing it for ourselves but we're doing it for all Canadians that believe in justice thank you very much thank you